that the Savior had for us. Oh, glory, that he came down in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin condemned sin on the cross that we can be made the righteousness of God in him. Hallelujah. Perfect love cast out all fears. Perfect love cast it out all fear. The Apostle John in John, 1 John chapter 4 and verse 18 and 19. He told us that God's love is perfect. It is Christ. It calls Christ his life. But what does this verse is saying to us today? In the time in which we are living. Let us look at it. And see what it's saying. There is no fear in love. For fear has to do with punishment. And whosoever fear has not been perfected in love. The Rev Revived Standard Version. Note that. Someone say there are 365 fear not in the word of God. Or do not fear. Or do not be afraid. 365. So they, there is one for every day of our life. For the year. Most of us are fearful. At some times in our lives. But God has not given us the spirit of fear. But of power. Of love. And of a sound mind. So fear is a spirit. I repeat. Fear is a spirit. That need to be casted out. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out all fears. This is how we know that we live in him and he in us. He has given us his spirit and we have seen and testified that the father has sent his son. To be the savior of the world. We have just reminded you. Are reminded of ourselves as we partake of the blood. And the body of Jesus Christ. That Jesus Christ love us. As John 3.16 says. For God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him. Should not perish but have everlasting life or eternal life. God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world. But the world through him might be saved. Bless the name of the Lord. And that's why I say the communion service is not for the sinner. But it's for the saints. I've trusted Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord. But what does perfect love mean? James 1 and verse 4 says, states that perseverance must finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. If you per persevere, you will be matured and you will not lack anything. But some of us, at times, we are so easily given. up. And this should not be because Jesus Christ, the spirit and the power of God resided in us as his children. The word perfect comes from the word, the Greek word, with P-E-L-I, 
A. Telia are tolos. T E L O S, which means complete. A job has been complete. Something has been completed in our lives because of the blood of Jesus Christ. We will not be perfect because of sin, but God chose us because of his perfect love. God's love is a perfect. Love. We are not perfect. We won't be perfect until we enter into the kingdom of God. Or when we are near entering the kingdom of God, God will do what he has to do in our life as we heal ourselves to him. So, as children of God, We should have no fear. Sorry. We should have no fear meeting God in judgment. Guess what? Many of us are fearful of going to our beds to sleep thinking that we are going to die. And we will spend eternity. If your life has been surrendered to Jesus Christ, you need not have no fear. For what we should look for is a day when Jesus Christ, our the Father, calls us home, and we go to stand before Him face to face. And nothing like fear will be in our lives. Because of the perfect love of God. And you have given yourself to him. And he has accepted you as his sons and daughters. But guess what? We have already made peace with God through Jesus Christ. And so we are not to be fearful. The songwriter said, Jesus paid it all. All to him I hold. Sin has left the crimson stain. He washes it white as snow. Jesus paid it all. All to him we hold. What we hold to him. Giving our life to him. Surrendering our all to him, depending on him to take care, to live through us, to guide us, to lead us as we go day by day. Because it's not my might, it's not my power, but it's by the power and the spirit of God that resided in us that is going to enable us to live this Christian life and to overcome the circumstances that are around us. Many of us are fearful even to leave our home to go out to travel and say that we are going to die. You don't have to be afraid because Jesus Christ, the word of God says, I will protect you when you go out and when you come in. Then if he say that he's going to protect you when you go out and when you come in, you don't have to be afraid. Some of us are afraid of a little lizard. Some of us are afraid of some little insect. But bless the name of the Lord. The perfect love of God casts out all fear. We can rest secure in him. The perfect love casts out the fear that is present now and in the future. We don't be, have to be afraid of the future. Because God already controlled the future. And God controlled the presence. Because he is the ever present, all powerful God. That is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above what you can ask and what you can think about. Let us cast away fear from our lives. And let the perfect love of God control us. 
Let the perfect love of God hold us. Give over yourself to the Lord. It's like a little child standing on a, on, on a bench or on a chair. And you tell that child, jump. And you stretch out your hand. And the child, jump. You're going to take hold that child. That's how it is with Jesus Christ. He is there to protect and to preserve and to lead and to guide us as we go along. Perfect love. Cast out all fear. We can sing, Oh, how I love Jesus because he first loved me. This is confident. Do you have that confidence in God? Do you have this confidence in Jesus Christ that whatsoever he said in his word, it is yea and amen? Whatever he says he's going to do, he's going to do it. Our confidence must be based on our relationship with him. And not based on what we do, but on who is able to keep us from falling. He's able to take care of us. Because he is our rock. He is our shield. He is our healer. He is our deliverer. He is our provider. He provided for the children of Israel while they were in Egypt. He can provide for us. He delivered them out of the hands of zero. He can deliver us out of every situation, out of every circumstances that faces us as we go day by day. He can do it, brothers and sisters. God's love has no beginning. And it has no end. God love has no beginning and it has no end. How can I cast out fear? You will ask the question. How can I cast out fear? Fear is not natural. It is a spirit that we must resist and cast out. It is a false evidence appear to be real. False evidence showing you that whatever you are thinking about and say this is not going to happen. It is false. It is showing you, the devil is telling you that this, if I do this, I won't overcome. If I go there, I won't overcome. Appears to be real. But guess what? It is false. Psalms 46 and verse 2. We will not fear. Though the mountains be removed. Though the mountains shake with a swelling thereof. Though troubles are around me. Though all these distress and all kind of things is coming upon me. I will not fear because I put my trust in the Lord. They that put their trust in the Lord shall be like Mount Zion. That shall never be removed but abide it forever. And so it is a very important that we know the word of God. What the word of God says. The word says, they come at my hearing and hearing by the word of God. Hallelujah. When we put the word of God into practice, God will defend us. God is going to stand by us. God is going to deliver us. God is going to help us. If we depend on him, he will see us true. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 29. Go on. It says, let not. Let not or also an old some talk come out of your mouth. Verse 30 says, grieve not the Holy Spirit of God. With whatsoever, wherever. Don't grieve the Holy Spirit because you are sealed unto the day of redemption. The Holy Spirit is there to help you. And here is something that many of us are struggling with. 
Get rid of all bitterness and rage. Brawling, slander, along with every form of malice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Get rid of all bitterness. We have just taken the Lord's Supper. And we put it down when we are taking the Lord's Supper. And as we go through the door, we take it up back again. And the root of bitterness it is in us. How can we love? How can we love God? Who we don't see. And we hate our brothers. We are raging us against each other. We, are, we, 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 we proclaim anger. We are brawling. We are slanderous. And all these things against each other. The perfect love of God. Cast out all of these things. God will help us. Because we can't do it by ourselves. But we have to heal ourselves to God. Hallelujah. You might say, oh, Brother Melvin don't love. If I don't love, show me with love. Show me how to love. If Sister Reeves don't love, show her how to love. Show her love for her. In the name of Jesus Christ. Put away anger. Slandering. With every form of malice. All these things will bring us down. All these things will cause us to be fearful. And the love of God cannot prostrate out of our lives. The perfect love of God cannot come out of us. When we began to hold all these things. The word of God says let no bitterness. Let not the root of bitterness be in you. It is a root that needed to be rooted up. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We see it in Naomi. She leave her land and she went to another country because things were bright in the country. And she went there. Her husband died. Her sons died. And then she began to say, don't call me. They hold me, but call me Mara because things are bitter. I am bitter. I feel bitter about the situation. So don't call me Mara. They hold me, but call me Mara. Mara means bitterness. Brethren, these things cannot help us. These things will not go far. We need to get rid of these things. Get rid of bitterness and anger. Let the spirit of God, let the love of God control you. Let the love of God control your life. When the love of God control you, then you are on the right place. You are in tune with God. Perfect love is Jesus Christ wrapped up in the flesh. Because God could not come to us. Just like that, he has to come in a sinful, in this likeness of sinful flesh. And so that's why it says, Jesus Christ let himself down. And he was crucified on the cross for you and I. And while, while he was on the cross, he gave up the ghost and he said, it is finished. It is complete. He felt the pangs of pain, of sin, and all these things of grudge and hate and malice and all kind of railing. It was for you, it was for me. Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, he will go to the, the lowest hell. He will go to the, the highest heights. He will reach his down in the darkest dungeon to redeem mankind hallelujah because he loves us with an everlasting love and with loving kindness he will draw you he will bring you back to him brothers and sisters we don't have to be drawn away with fear let the love of god control you i am afraid to approach that person 
because you don't seem approachable. If the perfect love of God is in you, oh, glory to God. You look at the face, but you don't see the heart. Hallelujah. You look at the book cover, you don't read the book to see what's in the book. Sometimes the cover of the book don't say much, but when you begin to read the book, when you begin to read the Bible, when you begin to read the word of God, it seems hard. But let me tell you, it is basic instruction before leaving earth. B-I-B-L-E. It's the word of God. How can a young man cleanse his ways? How can a young woman cleanse his ways? How can a whole woman cleanse his ways? But by taking heed to the word of God. The word of God is quick and powerful. And it is sharper than any two-edged steel sword. Piercing through joints and marrow. Intent of the discern of the heart and the mind. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Some of us want to put one foot in and one foot out, but it should not be like that. Our pastor preached a couple of weeks ago about the potter. The potter want to mold us, but we are putting one foot in. And so when the, the, the wheel began to spin, it is going to flash us out because he cannot mold us because we are not in it. It will flash us off. But when we are in on the potter's wheel, he can hold us and he can squeeze us and he can mold us into what he wants us to be. But we are not yielding ourselves to the potter that the perfect love of God can come out of us. The perfect love of God cannot demonstrate to our lives. Sometimes some people don't do you anything, but you begin to harbor hate and malice and all kind of things in your life. These things will kill your brothers and sisters. Oh, glory to God. The devil, that's why I say fear is false evidence. Appear to be real. The devil not telling you that. that it, what you are doing, it's wrong enough. Because he wants to kill you. He wants to squeeze your life out. When you, you draw away yourself, when you excuse yourself from each other, the devil is going to build up all kinds of things in your life. But let the love of God control you. Let the perfect love of God hold you in his arm. Let the word, the love of God take over your life. It doesn't matter where you are. Jesus Christ can reach you today. It doesn't matter what you are doing. Jesus Christ can reach you today. It doesn't matter where you are going. Jesus Christ can turn you around. Your life may be messed up. But I want to tell you that the blood of Jesus Christ. That was shed on the cross of Calvary. Can wash you and cleanse you. And turn you around my brother. Turn you around my sister. Turn you around my child. Turn you around my grandma. Turn you around my grandpa. Turn around a backslider. Turn around a sinner. Because Jesus loves you with an everlasting love. It doesn't matter that you fail. Jesus Christ still cares about you. Jesus Christ wants to set you free. Jesus Christ wants to deliver you. Jesus Christ wants to uphold you with the right hand of his righteous loving. Love me. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Trust the power of God to see you through. Trust the power of God to see you through. How are you going to trust the power of God? Meditate on the word of God every day. Remember I said at the beginning that there is the word in the word. Fear not. I don't be afraid. 365. And it's one for every day of, the life, of, of your life for the year. Use it every day. And said I will not fear. Because God is always with me. God is always ready to protect me. 
God, when you meditate on the word of God, God's perfect love will manifest in our lives day by day. We don't know what tomorrow will bring. We don't know what the next week will bring. But let me tell you that God can do great things. God can do mighty things in your life, in my life, in our life, in the church, in our community, in our surrounding, in the marketplace, in the school. But the devil don't, don't want us to love each other. The devil wants to put hate and envy and malice and bitterness in our heart, in our lives as we go day by day. He wants us to, to forsake each other. That he can kill us. And when he's killing us, we don't know. But God wants to mold us, as I said before. He wants to mold us, but we are not giving ourselves to him. And all we can see is the bad things. We can't see anything good. But we can see good when the perfect love of God is being manifested in your life. God wants to do. Have a special time with each and every one. And he's here right now. He's present right here. Right now. If you are a sinner. If you are a backslider. If you think you've gone too far. The perfect love of God can bring you in. The perfect love of God can turn you around. His touch is always pure and true. It's not like when somebody touching you out there and touching you here and touching you there. God's love is not like that. It is pure. He will always touch your heart with his affection, his strength, his comfort, and will give you encouragement. When nobody seems to be around to encourage you, look into the word of God. Think about the word of God. Think about what Jesus Christ can do. Think about what he has done for you. If it were, there was no other person on earth, Jesus Christ would have come down and be and touch you and reach you wherever you are. Jesus can reach you right there in your darkest moment, in your troublesome time. Oh, glory to God. No troubles all around you. Lift up your eyes to the hills. From whence cometh your help? Your help come from the Lord. He's the one who made heaven and earth. And if he said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ was in the boat. With the men. And he knew what would have taken place. And so he went down into the bottom of the boat. You think he did not know what was going to happen? Yes, he knew what was going to happen. And so he went down there to see what the disciples will do. They knew that some of them might remember or not remember what he did already. And he can do it again. And so the storm raised up. And they began to panic and said, what are we going to do? But they said Jesus is on board. And when Jesus is on board, all oh, things will work out. Is Jesus in your ship today? Is Jesus beside you today? Is Jesus in you today? Is Jesus' hand stretched out today? And so they call out to Jesus. And they said, Master, you don't care that we are perishing. You may be perishing. You may be going down for the last count. But I want to tell you that Jesus Christ is here. Oh yes, his hand is reaching out to you today. Oh, no matter the trouble and the trials that are around you. The perfect love of God can turn it around. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. I said the perfect love of God can turn it around. Oh, the disciples cry out and said, Master, you don't see what we are going through. Will you cry out like the disciples this morning and said, Master, oh, I'm in trouble. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to turn, Jesus. Oh, Jesus said, oh, you have little faith. The Bible says without faith it is impossible to please him. For they that come to him must believe that he is and that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. They seek out Jesus and Jesus arose and held up his hand and said peace be still. Oh Lord God the storms may be raging. Oh trouble may be in your, at your home. Trouble may be in your family. Trouble may be at your workplace. Glory to God. If you cry out to Jesus, he will hear your faithless cry. And he will answer by and by. And he will come to your aid. And he will encourage you. And he will lift you up. And he will hold your right hand. And he will oh, said, my child. Oh, I care for you. Oh, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. For you are my light. You are my salvation. Whom shall I fear? You are the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Oh, love of God. Oh, love of God. So rich and pure. So measureless and strong. Oh, glory to God. The love of God still endures forever. Hallelujah. He will never spite you. He will always protect you and cherish you. He will protect all things that concern you. Your future. Oh, hallelujah. He's safe with him. Oh, we don't know about tomorrow. But we know who holds tomorrow. And he holds our hand. And we can depend on him. We can depend on his perfect love. That casts it out all fear. Oh, that will see me through today. See me through tomorrow. See me through next week. See me through next year. Because his love endures forever and forever and forever. No water cannot drown his love. No fire cannot burn out his love. Because even in the fire furnace, his love is near. He will come in the midst of the fire and he will calm the fire like how he calm the storm oh hallelujah hallelujah i don't know what you are going through today i don't know what you are facing today but let me tell you about the perfect love of Jesus Christ that passes all human understanding it will keep your hearts and mind Stay on him. All you have to do is to cry out to him. All you have to do is look to him. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. He said to Isaiah, fear not. Oh, I am with you. Fear thou not. I will be with you in the good times, in the bad times. He said to Joshua, you must go and take Jericho. But I will be with you. His perfect love will hold you. His perfect love. Oh, hallelujah. It will be over you to see you true. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. His love never flawed. Oh, like human love. Human will tell you that they love you today. Oh, and something happened. 
Oh, they forget about the love that they told you that they had for you. But Jesus Christ is not like that. He loves you forever. He does not want you to continue in sin. He wants you to trust him. He wants you to live in righteousness and peace and holiness. Oh, glory to God. The devil do not want us to live in love. He wants us to be divided. But let me tell you, oh, glory to God, if the church of the living God could come together in love and unity, let me tell us that the gates of hell could not prevail against the church of the Lord. Because Jesus Christ said, Open this rock, I build my church, and the gates of hell cannot prevail against the church of the living God. It doesn't matter how hell belts, it doesn't matter what the devil do. It doesn't matter what strategy he comes with. The love of God is greater for it is major lesson straw. He goes beyond the highest star. It reaches to the lowest hell. Oh, glory to God. Jesus loves, endures forever and forever and forever. He's open. Sometimes some people try to hide from you. But let me tell us that the love of God is open and honest. Hallelujah. About his feelings for you. He's open and honest about his feelings for you. His thoughts about you are, are pure. It is written in his word. It will never change. Oh, hallelujah. They have not changed. It was from the beginning and it is until the end. The love of God will never change. It remains the same because Jesus Christ said, I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. So it was in the beginning. So shall it be in the head. I will strengthen you. I will hold you with the right hand of my righteousness. Hallelujah. Even though he is high above the earth, he stooped, oh glory, to love you and to serve you and to protect you and to take you through. My God, what he says is always true. He never lies. He cannot lie. We count, we can count on him 100% of the time. Oh glory, because there is no failure in God. There is no failure in God. There is no failure in God's love. There is no failure in God's love. It doesn't matter if your family don't love you. It doesn't matter if your husband don't love you. It doesn't matter if your brother don't love you. It doesn't matter if your sister don't love you. If your cousin don't love you, Jesus loves you. And because God's love is the antidote to fear. God's love is the antidote, antidote that we can use for fear. By repair, replacing it with faith in God. Hallelujah. You are struggling with a fear today. God can heal you. He can deliver you. He can take you through. He can lift you up. Hallelujah. If you ask him, oh loving father, take control of my life. Help me as I walk this journey. He is ready and able to deliver you. He is willing and able to sustain you. He is willing and able to lift you up. All you have to do is to show your love on him. Oh, glory to God. Sometimes we show our love on our loved ones. Oh, and they forsake us. And they uh, oh, forget about us. Even our children at times. Oh, glory to God. They forget about us. No matter what you do, all you can for them. And they forget about you. But Jesus Christ loves. Endures forever. Jesus Christ's perfect love. Is here to sustain. And to see you too. Will you give yourself to the Lord today? 
those of you who have been tempted to draw away, to go back where you are coming from, and the devil telling you all kinds of things, things that are not right, false evidence appear to be real. Let me tell you that Jesus loves still he is still here to take care of you. Is there one in the house today that will say, I want to accept Jesus Christ, the lover of my life. I want to give my life to him. I want to trust him because I know, I realize that he can take care of me. Even when nobody cares about me, Jesus cares about me. When people don't understand me, Jesus understand me. Jesus will take care of my life. Jesus will lead my life. Is there one today? Hallelujah. He will hear your cry today. He comes to deliver. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Jesus loves you with an everlasting love. Jesus cares about you. When nobody else cares, Jesus cares about you. When nobody don't understand you, Jesus understands you. Jesus wants to deliver you today. Jesus wants to lift you up today. Jesus wants to take care of your life today. He wants to take care of every situation in your life. Every situation in your home. Hallelujah. Every situation at your workplace. Jesus Christ, love. We'll take care of it today. Hallelujah. Pass me not, O oh gentle saint. Hear my heart to cry. Why and all this thou art
God's calling to the past me by. Though the springs of all my comfort, though the springs of all my comfort, would I seek the faith? so grateful for these that are at the altar. Young man, Jesus loved you with an everlasting love. If it was only you in the world, he would have come down to touch you. He's here today and he wants to help you. He wants to deliver you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We are thankful for our brother and our sister coming today, seeing that they need the perfect love of God to manifest in their lives. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. We are grateful for them today. I'm still giving an invitation to those. You are here. You are not coming to me. You are coming to Jesus because it's only him alone can love you Amen. with that everlasting love, with that perfect love. Yes, My love is tainted. But Jesus' love is pure Amen. and perfect. Praise Hallelujah. And he wants to love you. All you have to do is to lavish your love on him. Give yourself to him. And you will see him manifest in your life. Hallelujah. You are here and you are weak. In the spirit. You can come. Let us pray together. Jesus Christ wants to strengthen you today. Jesus Christ wants to change your life. He wants to change your direction. Hallelujah. I don't want to continue. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. You want to give yourself to your life. You're going to pray this way after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I come to you. Please forgive me of my sins. Come into my heart. Turn my life around. Change me in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus, here is this young man, God. You, God, love him with an everlasting love. And in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we ask that you will lay your hand upon him, God. We ask that you bring forth a change in his life. God, you know the tears that he's crying right now. Because their tears are a language that you understand. And oh God, you are touched with his feelings right now. And in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whatever is wrong in his life, you can turn it around. Lord God, we give you all the glory. We give you all the praise and the honor. Oh God, for delivering and touching this young man. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. The word of God says, with your heart you believe. And with your mouth, confession is made unto salvation. It's not how you feel. Feelings will come. You will feel good at times. And at times you will feel that you are not there. But it's faith in God. You came here this morning and you sat on those benches. And it held you up. So it is with Jesus Christ. When you think that he's not here, he's right there. And he will take care of you. Somebody is going to take your name and continue to instruct you from the word of God. Hallelujah. Father God, in the name of Jesus, here is this family. I commit them to you right now in the name of Jesus. I pray God that you will lay your hand upon them. 
In Jesus' name, we plead the blood over their lives. We plead the blood in their situation. We plead the blood in the name of Jesus against every plan and attack of the enemy. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray, God, that you will loose them. I pray that you will set them free. I pray that you will bring a change in their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because you have the power, oh God, to change life, to change situation, to change circumstances, God. And in the name of Jesus, let your perfect love demonstrate in their lives, in their homes, God. Oh God, I put the blood, I send the blood right now. I send the blood in that home right now. I send the blood right now. In the name of Jesus. That healing, cleansing blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Distant makes nothing. is nothing to you, God. You are present here and you are present there and everywhere, God. You are the God who controls time and eternity. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ. Break every attack in Jesus' name. 